In this video, I'm going to show you how you can assign seating based on the order that people registered for an event. So here I have a sheet and I have uh, guest one, two, three, and that of course would be um, their names that were in, in those spots. And then I have the order of application. So the ones who who order or who registered for this event first are going to get the first choice at where they sit. Now, every person that registers is asked to pick which of the tables they would like to sit at first. And um, then we are going to distribute these tables or by the order. The people in the first the first set will have the best shot at getting a good table. Okay, so I am going to go to my developer tab and I'm going to go and I'm going to go to macros and and I'm going to pick a seat and I'm going to run. And so now it's asking me how many people that I want at each table. Now I have 50, 50 guests here and I have um, I have six tables, so it's gonna be we're gonna be short a little bit here, but let's try eight. Eight people in here, and we'll go okay. Now, as you can see, the first 12 guests get their first choice, so they either want table one or table two. Now, uh, guest number 12 gets his second choice because this table is full. We have eight people in here already. And then it keeps going until it fills up table three. And then the guests from um, 17 on fill up table three. And then they fill up table four. And the people who registered at the very end are stuck in a table they really didn't want, which is um, which is table six, six and four, if you're lucky. Um, so let's try this with a different number. Let's go to the home tab. I have selected here no fill as opposed to um, a white color because it will read as a color. And so now I'm going to run this macro again, and I'm going to choose nine this time. Pick your seat, run, and then we're going to say nine. And we'll say OK. And now you see that there's nine people in each of those, and then we're only uh, we're only left with five people in the last table, so we're somewhere in between that. So let me show you the code. So I've called this macro um, "Pick Your Seat." Um, I have uh, set R and C as integer row. R for row, C for column. Dim is a number, and that's a number that you um, that you you want to have at each table. Worksheet is a worksheet. Last row as an integer, and then the last row and worksheet is active sheet. And then I'd say I say please enter the number of guests you want, and the quantity entered minus one um, for the heading row is equal to the number. And so now <clears throat> for the first one, I go for R2 to the last row, and we're not checking for anything there. We know it's going to be empty. So in the first column, if they have uh, if they have picked one, then the first row, so their name will be color uh, green, and uh, the table will be colored green. And so that's going until the count equals equals the number that we've entered, so it's either eight or nine, whatever the one is. And then we go on to the next column. And so in the next column is column C. And so we have row equals two, so we're going back to the top again, column equals four. And then we go um, for column two to last row, which we figured out up there. <clears throat> if count one is greater than number, then go to next column, which is D. Else, call the colored cell RC count one. I have a subroutine here, and the subroutine it basically is checking for the numbers against colors. 
So if it is, um, <clears throat> if the value is one and the interior color of the first row is blank, then color index is four, <clears throat> which is green. And then <clears throat> if the color is two and the blank and the first column is blank, then the interior color is 44. Um, <clears throat> and it goes down here and it checks for each of the colors. Now, I go by, I call a, I call this subroutine for each one and each time I'm telling it that um, I'm telling it the row and the column number. And then I am resetting control uh, the count to zero so then it can stop at the right number of count. I will, of course, include this code in the description of my video. Please subscribe.